Gypsies, welcome back to my channel and happy Dollar Tree haul day. So if you watched my vlog from yesterday, you know I went around to a bunch of Dollar Trees yesterday and basically found some good stuff for hauls. So I have some stuff here I was just wanting to show you guys. But before I do, I just wanted to show you guys something that I found at Aldi. Um, these right here, I made a TikTok on these, um, and these were on the clearance section at Aldi for $7.49. So this is a metal basket, wooden handles. It's so country chic looking. So I got this one here, um, $7.49, guys. Like, I actually bought, um, wait a minute, I'm going to show you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my blueberries are laying in the floor. Hold on. So I originally bought this two-piece set, and it's a smaller than this one here. So the two-piece set was $7.49, and they had one of the big black set, or just baskets left, um, that one. And I got out to the car, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, these are super-duper nice. They have little rubber things on the bottom. They're metal, they're super, super sturdy, and they're so country chic. I just absolutely love these. I can just imagine like fruit, like putting all of my fruit in one of these or, you know, whatever. They are just fabulous. I just wanted to share this deal with you guys. Just in case you have an Aldi, you can run and get you some if they're on clearance. They also had white ones. I like the black. Um, I also got me some pears and blueberries that are down on the floor. I just hope that they don't spill down on the floor because I want to make me some chia seed overnight oats, overnight chia seed, chia pudding, something. I don't even know. Anyway, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. So let me just start out. I got a bucket because like I always like whenever I go to clean my the interior of my car, which is not very often, um, I usually just get one of my big old plastic bowls, put pine sol in hot water and grab a couple of my microfiber towel things and do that. And I'm like, a bucket would be just so much easier just to carry around with the handle and stuff. So when I saw this red bucket, I'm like, I need that. So I love the red bucket. So let me see what else in here. Um, so I, I grabbed these, and this is just the, what are they calling these? Hair rollers. You get six in here, and I was just thinking about maybe trying to put my hair up in these, like, when it, whenever I take a shower at nighttime sometimes, um, while it's still damp, just to, like, just use six, you know, and just, like, do six sections of my hair. Just to see how it looks in the morning. I don't know. I just thought I would give that a whirl. If I do, I'll let you guys know how it turned out. But I thought, why not? And then this is something that um, I saw one time, like at another store. And I bought one, but I gave it um, for Cricky for Christmas or something like that. Because she's like golf a lot and like being out in the, oh, I just can't. Like being out in the in a field with the bright sun blaring down. Ew! Like, I just can't. I just can't handle the sun. But anyway, sometimes I do go on walks and stuff and I get hot. This is from Frog Frog Togs. It is a cooling wrap. It's a chili mini wrap. Um, this one is pink, but I have only saw these one other time in my Dollar Tree and I had to give it to her, you know, because she, she wanted it. <laughs> so anyway, I found me one finally. So yeah, that's only the second one I've ever seen. And there's always only one. I don't know if they sell out fast or if that one was just like under a shelf somewhere and they found it. I don't know. But anyway, um, I grabbed this for Jack. She, I gave her my phone and my old tripod with the ring light and stuff. And she just needed another block for her charging her phone or charging her or, or plugging up her tripod. Um, well, let me see here. What did I find in here? Hold on. I put a couple things down in here yesterday when I was filming. Oh, oh my gosh. Huh. No, I don't know if I did put 
put it down. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. Okay, so first off, let me get this out so I can actually see some of the other stuff in here. Um, this is something like I'm doing, and it's really kind of weird, but like my bathroom, like where my towels and stuff go, it doesn't have like a sliding door or anything like that. So I have been using my colorful um, scarves to kind of make like a little, like a, like it's like halfway down or something. And it's like a boho looking covering for that door and I've got I'm, ba I'm about halfway done I believe so every time that I find like pretty scarves like this they have to be brightly colored like that's a must but I'm going to be grabbing them and adding them to that collection and when I get it all done I'll take a picture and put it on Instagram for you guys but anyway I love this scarf I love citrus fruit and stuff and I think I spit everywhere just now. But anyway, I just think this would be a really pretty addition to that. So I was glad to see it. And then I found a couple of things for the, um, hold on. Is, is it, is it, I'm trying to figure out if everything's all mixed up here. Because if it is, that's a bummer. And I think it kind of is. I don't know. Some of it is, some of it's not. Okay, so anyway, let me. What is going on here? I just feel like everything is really, really mixed up in this bag. Like, I tried to put it all together so it would stay together, but evidently that did not happen. So anyway, um, I, I found a couple of new nail polishes. Now, neither one of these might be China Glaze. Let me look. Yeah, this one is a China Glaze. Um, I love the color of this. It's called Electric electra electrify electrify and it is just basically a really sort of a bronzy color let me do one of my nails just to see how that looks omg where'd that go where could that have possibly fell to oblivion like what's going on hold on i just knocked the other one into oblivion apparently I mean, I don't think it could have fit beside my seat, right? Gosh, bear with me, guys. I don't even Where that? There it is. Okay, hold on. Let me grab this. Okay, so I'm going to do one of my nails with this just to see. So Electrify, you know, man, my hands are getting weak. I couldn't open something yesterday. And, like, somebody had to open it for me. Oops, I even went that opened up for me. Okay, so maybe I'm not gonna try this out. Oh my gosh, my hands, I don't know. I think my rings get in the way a lot of times. Okay, I can't open it, so forget that. Anyway, I love that color, Electrify. And then this one is just an LA Colors, but I love this color. Um, it probably doesn't have a name, it probably has a number. I don't even see the number on here. Oh, wait a minute, there's a name. Hold on. I'm trying to keep an eye on my microphone because if it goes out, if it goes dead, like my whole video, like you won't hear anything. So this is called Pink Ruby. LA Colors. Like I think they outdid themselves with this color right here. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Pink Ruby. Like it has that kind of evanescence i know that's not the right word that hue has this has like a really pretty hue to it i'm just really loving it um something else i found now these right here um like i said yesterday on the video like somebody gave me a tip and i realized that tip was actually in tiktok that these right here even if you find the darker shades that do not match your skin tone at all you can use them for contouring and I'm like, that is absolutely brilliant. So I got these two colors right here, which are not my skin tone, but I can play around with in contouring. This one right here is pretty dark, but I feel like, you know, I mean, like when you put like a small line and blend it, like I feel like that would be a wonderful contouring thing. And that is just something that I am wanting to get into more is contouring stuff. So uh, contouring stuff. Sorry, something popped up and like drew my attention away like a squirrel or something. You know how that goes. But anyway, contouring my face, not stuff. I'm losing it. 
Okay, guys. So they had this cute little set. And I feel like this was probably geared toward Mother's Day, but it is from the Be Pure brand, and there is a sleeping lip mask and a lip sugar scrub, and the packaging is just adorbs. And then we have this right here, which is lip oil. I just thought that was a really cute little set. And number one, I love sleeping lip masks. So I've actually been looking for me another one. So I'm going to open this up just to see. I'm just hoping it's not like infused with rose or anything like that because I'm just not into that. I don't like the smell of roses. It says lavender oil. I don't know how I would feel about this on my lips at night, but lavender, you know, why not? Right? Let me see. Let me just smell this stuff. Okay. Wow. How would you? And hold on. I'm going to pause this till I get it open. Got it. Um, so infused with lavender oil. I do smell lavender up in here. Um, yeah, definitely smells like lavender. It feels like it might be a tad greasy, but I don't know. And I don't know if that would be a bad thing. Like you're just going to go to sleep, right? So I, I think I like it. Um, I definitely, I, right now I'm using a lemon one, which I absolutely love. And every night I coat my lips down with that lemon sl sleep mask and just go to sleep. So there's that, and then also the sleep mask, or the, the lip scrub. I'm not going to open that one, but I am going to open this lip oil. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this looks like a clear lip oil. Oh, oops, I was thinking it was going to be a roll-on for some reason. Lavender infused. I like lip oils. Sometimes you just need it, especially like if you're using, say, a matte lipstick and, you know, you don't, you don't really, um, you don't really like a matte lipstick or if you're using like a, what is it called? Like the um, lip tints, like if you don't like the way that looks, because they have a tendency to make your lips kind of feel kind of dry-ish. Uh, the lip stains is what I mean. And if you just put a little lip oil over there, it's it's much better. So, yes. <laughs> okay. So, I found these adorable little hold on, hair clips. I absolutely think these are so cute. Look at these bad boys. They're just little daisies. Um, I found some other little daisy things. And I'm just thinking, like, I have those little daisy earrings from Shein. I thought that would be just a whole vibe. Maybe a black shirt with the daisy earrings and hair, daisy hair clips. And I can't remember what else I found that day. Um, and then I found this right here which they also had like one of the little scrubbing the scrubber lip scrubbers with this but this is a mango lip oil and a mango lip sugar scrub so i love mango i don't know if i'll keep it for myself or i'll like put it in the giveaways i'm not 100 percent sure but i love sugar scrubs love lip oils so that's a really cool find right there um let's see here let me just show you all this because I promised Jack I would give, get, get these for her. The other one did not end up um, up here in the front with me. So it's just going to have to be moved. But this is the Sassy and Chic Makeup Blender Sponges. So I found the black ones. I didn't find any more pink ones. But Jack absolutely loved mine and she begged for some. So I'm like, okay, if I see them again, I will get them for you. So I did get this one and I'll have to dig back there and find the other one for her. But this is the one that she really wanted anyway. So anyway, this is what the black one looks like. I love these. I love mine. I've been using it every day. Um, I haven't used this one. I've used the other one like for whenever I put my um, uh, under eye stuff on I just use that to blend it in because it's small um, I love the handles so I think that if you see these and you wear makeup this is a really good deal and I am really loving them and then something else I found was some more of these hard candy color correct 
in orange. Now, the reason I got orange was the same reason why I got the other, um, the darker Maybellines for contouring. I just think that was a brilliant idea. Never entered my mind the first time and anything hard candy, I love. I just love hard candy stuff. So this one is an orange and I just think it'll be a great thing to play around with, you know, and just, I mean, I'm probably going to have to watch a YouTube video on contouring, but I'm sure I can do that. But anyway, yes, that was just a good deal. So um, I'm going to get, I'm going to cool my phone down and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, I'm back. So let me go ahead and show you guys something else that I found. Um, this was one of my favorite finds from yesterday. And these are so, so cute. So I got three of these. Let me put one here and just hold the other one up here. So these, I did haul a couple of these the other day that were, I think, under the sea or, or maybe space. I can't remember. But these are mermaid cake cups. So I just thought these would be really, really cute for Jack. Um, the main reason why I got these, and if you watch my blog from yesterday, you'll know, whenever they use the mug cake that you put in a pack and make in your own cups like they never put water in the cup afterward like it'll sit there and dry like that and that is just ridiculous and i hate to try to wash something like that someone did suggest that that you spray the cup first with some non-stick spray well if i were doing it yes they i would do that but them no they're not going to do that they're not going to remember so anyway these right here have their own cups and um Tony over at Created Chica Halls gave me a tip. She said that these are very hard and just make sure that they are mixed in really good with your batter. So just in case you guys don't know that, let me just pass that tip on. And then I found something cool. Let's see here. So number one, I found this, which this is the Kent Chocolate Syrup. And I don't know if this was the same, like I know this bottle looks more like a thicker chocolate syrup that you might like put on ice cream or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure. But I just got one of these because they've been having like vanilla ice cream at night with chocolate fudge on top, but there's no more chocolate fudge. So I'm like, this right here should work just fine. And it definitely looks like a different bottle. So I don't know if it's the same thing or not. If you guys know, let me know. It just says chocolate syrup. And I don't know if it's the same. So it says 100 calories a serving. It looks delish, but you can make chocolate milk with it, put it on ice cream or whatever. But this is something new that I found and I thought was pretty cool. So even though I don't have a baby in the house, I still got these because my kids are like babies. No, not my kids. My kid. <laughs> no, Jeremy and Jack. They're like my kids. You know, both of them's like my kids. But anyway, these are the Go Go Squeeze brands, and I have never seen a squeezable pudding. So I thought these were cool. You get a whole four pack of these and it says non-dairy pudding on the go. So this one is the almond blend. Actually, they're all three almond blend. This one is in the banana. I know that these will get a like probably all of them will be gone by the end of the day today. Um, and then this one is the cocoa hazelnut. So it's probably going to taste like Nutella or something like that. Nutella flavored pudding can't be bad, right? And then this one is the vanilla. I think the packaging is absolutely adorable. Look at that little hazelnut or that little almond. Um, but how cute are these? That definitely is something new. I don't know if there are any other flavors. If you guys know, let me know. I knew I was looking for this in that bag. I knew I threw it down in there yesterday, but yeah, anyway, regardless, irregardless. Is it regardless? Irregardless? I don't know. Um, I got this right here. And this is just wax paper. I love like whenever I'm making burgers or BLTs or sandwiches, I love wrapping them in wax paper. And I have been looking so hard for those ones that come out every summer and they are checkerboard, the red and white checkerboard um, and they're big like sheets, but they're actually basket liners. But those are absolutely perfect for wrapping up burgers and stuff like that. So I've been looking for those, still haven't found them. So anyway, um, I went ahead and got this 65 feet of wax paper. This will work just fine for, uh, for wrapping stuff up. 
personally, I love it because it just makes makes it so much easier to eat. Like, you know, if you have a big juicy burger, trying to eat it, like if you're like me, like my boobs catch the majority of anything that falls on me. And I'm always staining up my shirts and stuff. And it's just ridiculous. So whenever you wrap up your sandwiches or your BLTs is bad for that and hamburgers is bad, bad for that. So whenever you wrap them up and you just kind of open them up a little bit, like if you're out to eat, you know, boom, it just catches all that. So yes, I'm, I'm just thrilled about that. <laughs> oh, and then let's see here. This is something new that I hadn't seen. This is the Premier Pantry, which I have some pictures. I don't think I've posted them yet, um, but they have a lot of different, like sort of like hamburger helper types, but this is the family size mac and cheese. I don't know if it's any good or not. Um, I'll probably make it as a side dish or just make it as a lunch for um, Jeremy and Jack. So, but I think that's, that'd probably be what happens or he'll make it. But anyway, I love that it's a family size and yeah, hold on one second because somebody just pulled up right beside me. Mm. Okay. 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 Like I'm way down here, honestly. Um, I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. Okay. They're still there. So forget it. Uh, I only have two more things. Anyway, I just grabbed this right here. This is the deli market and they have a wonderful spicy brown mustard. Um, but this is the sweet honey mustard and there is nothing better than like chicken or chicken nuggets dipped in honey mustard. So I went ahead and grabbed this. So yeah, I just think that those are really good deals. And the last thing that I have to show you guys today, um, I'm making my videos just a tad bit shorter just so I could bring you more of them. Um, so sorry if this is not long as usual, um, but this is the Lipton Georgia style iced tea and it's Georgia peach. It's iced tea, but it's Georgia peach iced tea, which sounds absolutely fantabulous. I know it's going to be really good. I got this from my son and he spotted it and was wanting it. I said, no, I have not hauled that and you are not getting it yet. So I wanted to haul that today so he could have it. I know it's crazy, but I like to show you guys stuff that I've never seen before. And if I give it to him, then I, I can't show it to you, right? I mean, yeah. So anyway, guys, I found my receipt. If you are needing my fetch receipt, just let me know in the comments or look in the description box. It's there. Get you, earn yourself some free things, some free iced coffees for the summer or save it, put it on an uh, Amazon card and get you some um, Christmas gifts around Christmas. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, but anyway, that is my haul for today. Let me know what your favorite items were. Um, yeah, I know it wasn't very long. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, I will be back day after tomorrow with another haul. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and until next time. Bye. Bye.